Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday, 46 degrees, 8 degrees Celsius, and a little mix of clouds and sun. Boy, that seems zoomed in on this one. <laughs> I haven't used the uh, Pocket 3 in so long, but uh, getting kids out for morning walk together because uh, Terry's laying down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to worry about that focus thing, too. But anywho. All right, we are going to check out Dollar General. Hopefully, the, of course, at this point in the morning, because it's, what, 9 o'clock? They may be already there when we came home last night. So when I came home the night before when I worked, uh, they had the store, you know, the interior looked all done and whatnot. Last night when we came home from the park, the Dollar General delivery truck was there. They had all the shelving and whatnot in, and they were stocking shelves, it looks like. I have a feeling they're going to try to be open for Thanksgiving. I really have a feeling they're going to have that place open for the holiday because it would be a major food holiday if it's a market uh, that they would lose out of business if they don't. So we're going to make our way down there eventually as a basset hound is already resisting because she's sniffing. But good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. And we got dual peeing going on here. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get moving. Come on. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had this guy out, that's for sure. So Mike and I are having a little text conversation back and forth about tomorrow. He is bringing the new Olympus One uh, camera he got uh, along. I'm going to take the Sony, so i got to remember to bring the strap to hook that on me. Because uh, um, there's, I, I don't think it's going to be super busy tomorrow for us. I think we'll be, you know, kind of one of the few up there. At least that's my hope and with the time of year um it's a good theory we're going to uh you know try to get some cool photography and stew too out of it i'm i'm thinking the kitchen the oakley kitchen sink is going with me because i i might take the tripod if it if it is as calm as i'm thinking um might be setting up on the tripod <clears throat> i'm gonna take that bar off there though Unfortunately, I just don't think that's the smart way to go because that camera, it would just, it messes, although I'm not going to be shooting up toward the sky. I don't know, we'll see. Because I'd kind of like to be able to mount the phone to it as well and take some photos. I'm dragging dog. Yeah, that's one difference with this guy here. Got to double click and spin it around. I've gotten so accustomed to the Action 5 and no blurry background, which I was pre pretty impressed with editing just now. Um, the dynamic range in that sky that blue that i mentioned at one point it was showing up behind me before i even mentioned it it was pretty crisp the helicopter thing i don't know what happened there um but i was able to take some of the shake out um with final cut and mess around with cup one setting because i watched a video on how to stabilize because if there's a lot it zooms in way too much and destroys the shot and that's kind of what happened and i flipped it off to a different off automatic to a different mode and it at least kept the helicopter in in the shot instead of like just digitizing everything and making it look like total garbage <laughs> so, <sighs> i got a boom boom to pick up well i got 36 minutes back somehow hello bird I'm using the native app, so I have stabilization. <laughs> Boy, the mic just takes forever with this one now. There was an update on the Action 5 I need to kind of test out, but they got a cart corral in now. Fork left, pallet jacks. There are people down here, but eh, we're gonna take a look around anyway. I don't care. Yeah, I don't want to get too close. I don't, man, they're probably just getting things around. I don't think they have a grand, they do have say coming soon, but they don't say when. And there might be a sign on there. <laughs> yes, yes, I know you're a big doggy. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, well, I think they're gonna be opening here very, very soon. It doesn't, it says coming soon. It doesn't really say exactly when, 
It looks like the one lady that's there, she works at the other one. They're moving her up here temporarily or maybe permanently. Come on, baby dog. Hi. She's like, hey, Dad. I'm here, too. I'm here, too. Can we continue on? Can we go to the vet? Can we go sniff the vet, Dad? Oh, oh, oh. she's like, let's go sniff the vet. And like I said, that, that will be a convenient thing, you know. We, we need something random and uh, just take a walk. Obviously, I can't take them, but I can get my exercise, come down, grab stuff, and then uh, walk back home, not having to hop in the car and go anywhere. Might pay a little bit more for it, but not turning the car on, you, you kind of null and void what you'd do. I wonder if we can sneak through that spot right here. Instead of going to the end of the parking lot. Come here, guys. Well, there or there. Yeah, I'm seeing a little gap way right here. There's some branches in the way, but we're going to do it anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. There was an RV that was getting towed out of here the other morning. I'm not sure if it was the guy that yelled at me. And some... Ouch. That just hooked me in the back of the neck. Priya's like, what are we doing? Come on, we're taking the off-road path. Ow. Well, that was not smart. I have a nice welt in the back of my neck now from that. Oh. Something got me. That wasn't smart of me, was it now? Oh, well. Uh, trimmer can take care of that. I can make that a pathway. <laughs> I still want to do this pine tree, but at this point, it's like, eh, who cares? Yep. <clears throat> Doesn't look like the vet's open, so we're gonna go let them sniff and we're gonna finish a complete full lap because I was given instructions to take them for a very very long lap and wear them out So that is what we'll do We might actually make our way all the way around the vet and go see the little stream quick too just to give them a One outing. That's why I took them both at the same time I figured it'd just make it smarter that uh, you know, we didn't have to do this a second time around because she's gonna lay down I'm gonna get dressed for work see what my mom's around so I can head over there and chill with her I gotta grab the battery for the drill and some long screws for the uh, for the fence come on let's go over here I always make sure I stay on the uh, outside of this sign because like I figure they want to come yell at me when I'm on the side of the sign that doesn't say no trespassing you can suck it Sorry, bud, I didn't realize you were peeing. I thought you were a, a minpin, not a European. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, that air is, uh, is fresh. And uh, those that use wood fires, oh, I can smell the scent of uh, wood fires in the air. It's one of, between autumn leaves and wood fires, that is a couple scents that I just love. And the crazy one, it goes back from my childhood, the house that I tried to show you, which I will figure out how to do. I might have to use the magnetic mount and put the camera on the roof. I was actually looking for a, um, I'm not buying it, I'm not buying it, but a remote controlled like camera rotor or, you know, motion thing um, for doing some of the Christmas stuff. Uh, it's like 50 bucks between the DJI app and using that, but I can just use the DJI app and put the pocket up on the roof. <laughs> That's a good idea, isn't it, guys? Uh, then I can just rotate it around, so. But, uh, yeah, the idea would be that I could actually swing the camera on the roof around for different shots, mainly for, like, the Christmas thing and whatnot. Actually, I think it not only turns, but it actually will angle as well, so. But you'd, ha you'd have to use two different things for that. Whereas this, I can just use the Mimo app. Come on, there's people in there. Come on, we're done. Um, and be done with it. Just the problem is risking the life of my pocket three on the roof of the car. But that magnet is really strong. And I just have to make sure I clean the metal off of the roof before I put it up there so it sticks really well. What I was getting at is the house that I would try to show you when I was a kid, <clears throat> when we came back from Florida from our dad and I's little runaway for those of you who haven't don't know about that story that's probably back around the 2015 mark uh story of my life I think this is the title of the video something like that but uh 
yeah, dad had the property logged because it's 48 acres and the equipment, it was, you know, it was winter time and all the heavy diesel equipment, the skid steer and the, all that, the diesel fuel in the cold air, it just smacks back memories too. It's crazy how certain smells will bring back memories. There's a certain scent that was in my mom's house before the year that we had the fire. And uh, it will, if I smell that, I can walk right, in fact, just thinking about it, I can walk through that house in my brain right now, what it looked like before that happened. Thank goodness we were not there, although we probably could have saved the house. We were in New Jersey, Christmas, 1996, or in 95. 95, 96, somewhere in that area, but uh, yeah. So it's just it's crazy how the brain works, you know? So autumn leaves, love that. Cold diesel smell exhaust. It just brings back memories. It's just, uh, <laughs> oh, life is crazy. What do you think, little man, huh? What do you think? He's like, I'm running for home, but you're not going home. You're going for a full flipping lap. And I'm not sure if uh, they're renting some other space out here again. They pulled that RV out of here. They got the trailer and a plow, which I think the plow is to do the parking lot here. But uh, who knows? Ah, too high. Might have been someone abandoned it there. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Princess? You haven't done a boom boom yet, so I probably need to slow down a little bit so you can pop a squat. All right, I showed this tree the other day. I think that thing has got another few degrees of angle. Come here, guys. Feels like that thing's got a much, much healthier angle going right now. That thing is coming down. They really need to do something because it's coming down into the road. I mean, it's not a very big tree. It's nothing they couldn't handle to take down and cut up. No, I know, I know maintenance watches these videos, but that thing has definitely gained some degrees of angle out of the ground. No. Yeah. We'll wait for it to fall and then we'll cut it up. That's right, lands on somebody. And right here's my destructive path when I got freaking into whatever I got into and got poison to get all the puppy bags out. I got most of them. There might be a few more left in there, but oh well. Honestly, they should clean this thing up and then this could actually be mowed and not look like, you know, like they don't even know this is on their property though. Because when I was talking to them, they said it like cuts down through and they don't even know where the, the property line is really weird down through here. So <laughs> don't let the mowing team know that because they'll probably do a, a worse job than they do as it is. Of course, hopefully we don't have them next year. It's a pretty scene with the clouds. Oh yeah, getting myself reintroduced to the pocket, even though I have an update on the other camera. It, to be honest with you, the one, the one part of the update that I was reading has to do with um, st stability when with, with using for driving videos that the camera won't move around as much. Well, that's not the point. You want the feel of the drive. But I think the, the big one was they made improvements to super low light. They've added 50 and 60 frames per second uh, in low light. And for the most part, it actually works better than 30, unless you're in super dark. So not a mode I usually go into anyway. But yeah, there were some other little bugs and fixes too. We'll have to try it out. Probably not today. We'll figure it out tomorrow because once this walk is over, the vlog is done for the day. And then I got another boom boom to pick up. Thank you, Mateo. He's... <laughs> Look how proud this little shit is. He's like, I'm a good dog. I poop outside. All right, I'm gonna do a 4K recording of this and then I'm gonna do a one by one photo with this. Definitely don't want to go in a low light mode right now, even though it's gloomy and cl cloudy out. That's kind of ruining my mood, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This cloudiness is depressing. I mean, a little bit of blue in the sky today, but this is why winter time is not the best. 
till we get some white stuff to should get some pretty prettiness from that and like I said that'll dwindle real quick once you uh, clean it up a couple times it'll get real old doing another tinkle tinkle come on come on we're making the little dogs bark <laughs> gee whiz they're getting vicious with each other about barking and Priya runs my tail off the path <laughs> Oh, well, that was funny. I was actually going to check and see where the loom lapse was. It just went off. It is in Queens, New York. So I'm going to say it'll be here Monday, Tuesday. <clears throat> Most likely Monday since it's Saturday. Should not be a problem to get it here that fast. But you never know with the post office. So, Alrighty, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said yesterday, if you are new to the channel, please thumb up, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you guys tomorrow as always. Have a great day, great night, and stay safe.